wrap around is not going to be possible during the season coming now. It stays in and we're stashed their game to win a 2v1. A 2v1 against Journey, patiently waiting. He's gonna start to run out of materials. He's already out of materials. <laughs> and so it's just a matter of time until they figure out, drop down, connect with the shots, and taste them as dash. The reigning FNCS champions pick up game one. They make it's it in two. Game. This is the main fight we're looking at at the start of basically every single game. Racetrack, and Tus is ready. Thomas looking kind of steady, but uh, I mean, after that explosion, this is about to be tough. Yeah, we'll see, right? Obviously, game one it was Tuss and Putrick that came out on top. Would it do a little 2-0? Oh, they're pushing straight up. Putrick with a few misses. That might cost him a lot, but these guys have got nothing. Bare bones. And it's tough, man. Abuka and Thomas, have shotguns. <laughs> but Putrick and Tuss, they have some shotguns of their own. Putrick running away and they barely let him survive. One HP! Now firing. Madabuka is so, so low. Tuss is low as well. Everybody down to a sliver of HP. 7 10 split. What side did they try to target first? Malabuka. Sees Pritchard coming from the right side. Just a breath and he's gone. He has to stay secure. Thomas HD with a distraction. No shots hit. Somehow Malabuka forces another miss. And now Pritchard got 35 though. Go for trades on the knocks. Not really. Thomas not even going for Deuce's body, and that might be the blunder as Putrick wins the one on two. They clearly have oh, a good man. feel for things. And winning an off-spawn battle like this just gives you bundles and bundles of confidence. You see here, no materials left, but a shotgun in hand. Big damage, two massive That's shots. A good run in their against... books. Replay of game one or two, Levin, you decide. Who knows at this point right now? <laughs> it's Ponasan Snazy who are just dominating the Citadel. Oh, and this, man. this has got to be heartbreaking for any Shamu. We got to land on a tree and farm it up. Is that a good thing or a bad thing for the start of your game? I'll have the match to see what's up, but round three for a fight that's been so, so close back to back. This time, I guess for the first time, we're seeing Thomas and Malabuka actually on the power side of this one. Letting two fly by, actually with Malabuka. One good shot, easy finish on the backside two, dropping down for the match now. 2v1. Malibu and Thomas finally finding some control in this off-spawn battle. And that's exactly what they needed. The other players just ran off though, so they're gonna have to try to find him. I don't know if they will, though. They might just have to give it up completely. That's one way, maybe. That just must be so sad. I mean, the best part about this is that maybe the deal gets to play with both inventories at least. No! Really focused. Get second height for free indeed. Thomas HD with a pulse oh, rifle. Oh man. If you're here for classic EU type plays, get your seatbelt strapped in because now he has high ground too. And this is why we said the pulse rifles in their hands are so, so powerful. They will just melt high ground and take it for themselves. Queasy and Vino still alive in this one. All the way down below though. Box to box in each other's faces and picking up her limbs along the way. They're going to keep moving though. Kinetic Blade and now towards the front of the zone, but taken out. And Vino, oh my <laughs> goodness, Thomas no! Malabuka melted everybody from above. If you go up, you will fall down, <laughs> and not by your own mercy, not by your own might. They will be the ones to chop you out. These guys are on a tear right now, and everybody in the lobby is feeling it. 500 damage in two seconds. Gonna be lit going down. Peak arrow left behind, where Stash gets exactly what he needs to. He played the game, but once again, he tried to go to the sky. It's owned by Thomas HD. Malabuka beside him. It's been there, Thomas and Malabuka on an absolute tear. The Yankee Air turret now has to go for a fight on the ground, but give Thomas a pixel, he'll give you 132 damage. Oh, and then another pre-fire. 1v2 doesn't need teammates. Thomas HD ends the game. Adjustments we've seen in, I would say, just the history of MCS itself across all chapters, and Thomas and Malabuka landed once again, one of the hottest fights to see. It changes the entirety of how the day looks like, and they don't like to be in a power position like last time. Tusin Kuchik get the slurp truck as well, so they have so much shield to work with. Malabuka has position, but he needs to land these shots. Another one sky high, he's focused, but the two and Putrick alive like this. I'd be over for Thomas too. This is just absolute tough scenes. Toos is lower, Thomas is up close. Wrap it up though, this will not be a game that we see the powerhouse duo strut their step once more in EU. Are these guys are even getting fed party themselves. Who's that? It's Pat and Bevies. <laughs> what are these guys doing? Everybody wants to get in on the fun. They're saying, listen, if Thomas and Malibuka are allowed to play the way they like to, maybe it's about time for us to look like we're in tip-top form as well. Change landing positions, calibrating, uh, go find team. And instantly, they're up. 
for the charge for the chance. Baby's finding two. So we're gonna battle at break to obey. You'd think it's Pixie and Della. They're looking for angles. Even when they're caught off guard, Della with his movement forces the shot miss from Asa, but the second one, this man does not make a mistake twice. He's looking to wrap it all up. The track is with the box is huge. The pressure's still alive from the other side and clank twice! Asa is just too fast for him. Now he's gonna be playing support. Nope. Looks actually winning a bit, and he's a front man once more. Huge for Asa. Up top, the knife re edited on. And that's Pixie with a clap back. Hold on, wait a minute, it's not done just yet. We've done so. Pixie and Dilla might still be in this one. Oh, 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 running up, but oh, quickly running back down. What a shot from Pixie, and he might just close it out here. The storm might finish the job. It doesn't wait, feel wait, like wait. Be a bit. Can he splash him? Pick up no! Doesn't pick up the splashes in time, but it's fine because he'll get the reboot card and he'll be able to reboot. 